bit more complicated because obviously now it's going to be grabbing my gi and it's not as simple to break a gi grip because a gi grip is a lot harder it's more, more of a grip to hold on to um, but we're going to use a similar concept okay we're going to use a similar concept so let's say he's gone he's got double sleeve grip on me he's got sleeve grips on both sides okay and i'm trying to pass a guard but you can notice here maybe i can't get this hand hand to this side okay what i'm going to do is i'm going to bring my knee up my leg up okay watch here opposite directions knee pushes and pulls now i will make use of the position and maybe look to pass as an example there's obviously a lot of things you can do but as i said don't go back to step one i don't want to do this break the grip and go back down he's going to grab the grip again we're back to square one so what i do is i break the grip maybe keep the hand pinned and then look to pass as an example okay if he's grabbing the sleeve so a collar sorry sorry he's got my collar if I just pull, watch my collar move. You see? Can't grip, break the grip. But watch when I go opposite. See, look. I pull my collar away from him and I strip the grip. Now, pin the hand. Look to pass again, etc. Okay. So always opposite. Watch again. Grabs here, not here, or not here. He'll, I'll just put him off the mat. Okay, even if I just pull, pull this in, he just follows. But watch how difficult this is to follow if I, if I do opposites. Okay, so always break in an opposite motion. The grape must, grape must be short and quite explosive, okay? It's not this. Okay, it's okay. short and, and abrupt. It's much easier to break it like that. Same thing when you grab, grab my sleeve again and I come in here and rolling watch. And then I can react from there. Always short and explosive.